Now, what would a Dilmar tea-inspired Christmas be without eggnog? Eggnog is one of those things that I remember as a kid. It was powerful, had lots of flavour, and really reminded me of my mum's Austrian heritage. So, you can take this home once you've made it. You can put it in the fridge, keep it till Christmas Eve. It helps you sleep so that you don't get up and disturb Santa Claus. Um, it's a lovely drink. It's been drunk for centuries in Europe, and I'm bringing it to you today with the addition of this beautiful Dilma Spice Chai Tea, which is full of great flavors, cardamom, clove, cinnamon. And that is where I'm going to start. I'm going to brew some tea. We're talking about cooking with tea or brewing with tea to make alcoholic beverages. You need to have at least triple strength. So what I've done is taken three tablespoons of the spice chai tea and filled this pot up, which normally would only have one tablespoon of tea in it. I'm gonna brew that for five minutes. Make sure you stir your tea really well. Combine all those flavors, and then put it aside for five minutes. Now we've got a much bigger job to do, because in a bowl here, I have egg yolks and vanilla sugar. This needs to be beaten together for half an hour. So if you're keen, You've got lots of time, do it by hand, but otherwise an electric machine would work really well. Okay, so we have a beautiful white fluffy mixture. And now to add in the tea. Turn your mixer on low. So what this is doing by adding hot tea onto my eggs is making a sabillon. And a sabillon means that the eggs are cooked, so therefore they're safe to eat. It's an important step that you need to take. Next, I'm adding the milk. The all important rum. Now, the amount of rum is up to you. There's no rules on that, but if kids are gonna drink it, be careful. And lastly, the cream. Now, at this stage, you don't want to whip it too much because the cream will start to overbeat and will curdle. So once it's well blended, give it a little bit of a stir. Have a taste. And if you're happy with the quantities, the amount of alcohol and the spice chai that comes through. I, I find this one really mild, but if you, if you think you need a little bit more oomph with the spice chai, feel free to add a little bit more into it because it is a lovely flavor. But that now is ready for bottling. Into the fridge. Here's my bottle, ready to go, ready for Christmas Eve. Clean up after myself, and there's one last thing I need to do, which is put a label on it. So here it is, my Ceylon Spice Chai Eggnog. Merry Christmas.